There are so many things as a homemaker that can be thankless tasks, but today I want to encourage you and I'm encouraging myself along the way that what we do as homemakers is important and having that attitude of thankfulness and gratitude for what we are doing for our homes and families is so important. It's hard to sometimes want to do those monotonous things like take all the towels and wash them on laundry day for towels and sheets and throw them in the wash and have three or four loads of laundry in that one day. But all those little things, like I said, are just so important and getting that time to um, just rest and enjoy those little moments like enjoying my coffee outside in the morning before my girls are up. I just love it and enjoying those little moments. I talked about this in one of my last homemaking videos of just watching my girls and Nevaeh out in the rain as it sprinkles outside and just being grateful for all the things that we do as homemakers. I often forget how grateful I am to be able to provide even beautiful towels for my family, hanging them up nicely so they can be used again. And it's hard when you know they're just gonna get all wet and stinky by the end of the few days that they're used, but it's so important. And remaking my bed, it's just things like that that we do every day that I need to be grateful for and thank the Lord that I have a home and a nice bed and beautiful blankets and pillows to make this space cozy and welcoming and beautiful garden. Oh my goodness, I've been loving my flower garden this year and as you know, I've shared a lot about it and just being able to add some cut flowers to my home, being grateful that I have a space to add these flowers to and add a little touch of natural beauty that God's created to put into our homes to share with our families and ourselves and our guests. There's so much more than just flowers as being beautiful. I've been working on um, adding a little more herbs to my medicinal, um, what do you say, repertoire and learning a little bit more about that. So being able to dry some of my bee balm and my echinacea and just have those drying on my rack next to my aprons, next to my espresso machine. It's just something that I'm so thankful for to see every day when I make my afternoon coffee and just knowing these will be used in the future to care for my family and just being grateful for all these little touches. imagine making bread back in the olden days when it was all by hand having an electric mixer I take it for granted so making sourdough cinnamon rolls using electric mixer being able to roll out the dough with a rolling pin and just know that this is going to be a fun treat for my family is something that you know it takes time it takes effort but they are so enjoyed and food is one of those things that i think as a homemaker really blesses a family and something we can be so grateful for it's hard on the days when you work hours and hours on a meal or on making bread or on cinnamon rolls and they get devoured in less than 30 minutes but you know, I remind myself, like I said, as I remind you, that being grateful that we can do this for our loved ones and people we have into our home. As I'm still in the kitchen looking at my rolls and now getting supper ready, 
I remind myself how grateful I am to have a wonderful husband who cares for the children after work so I can do something I enjoy, which is making meals for my family. This may not be what happens for you, but I am very blessed with a wonderful husband who plays with our girls so I can have this time of uninterruption where I can prep meals or at least supper for about a half hour and it's just such a wonderful time. I might turn on some music even though the girls are playing in the background and just enjoy preparing a delicious array of food for my family and again back to the food just being grateful that we have so much food here in america where we live i just feel like we are so blessed with such a plethora and variety of foods that we can have that can nourish our families from fresh fruits to adding um, pepita seeds and craisins to a salad like what treats we get right to be able to have that with a steak and sweet potatoes so just being grateful for all we get and being grateful for the time of cleaning my goodness this is a repetition but wiping down my cabinets and just thanking the lord that i have um, a home and a place to clean because it's just a it's just such a thing that i think we forget about sometimes in the monotony of what we do as homemakers so as i'm cleaning and as I'm talking to you here on this video, I just remind myself and you that we should have the attitude of gratitude for what we are doing in our homes, taking care of it, feeding our people, making it beautiful, and getting food and bread ready for the next day. Mm -hmm.